Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of tortilla chips and tortillas. We'll explore their history, how they're made, and the differences between traditional and modern production methods. So, grab your favorite salsa and let's get started. Did you know that the word tortilla was first brought to Mexico by the Spaniards? It's derived from the word torta, which means cake. The Mexicans then used it to describe their flat corn and flour cakes, which became the bread staple of their diet. Originally, tortillas were made from ground corn pulp, a native grain of the New World. However, when the Spanish introduced wheat, white flour tortillas gained popularity. Tortilla chips, on the other hand, were born when these flat cakes were cut into wedges and deep fried. First introduced in the United States by Latin Americans living in the southwestern states, tortilla chips quickly became a popular snack nationwide. Today, they come in various sizes, shapes, and seasonings, and can be enjoyed with a variety of salsas and toppings. Traditional Production Now, let's talk about how tortillas and tortilla chips are traditionally made. The process has remained largely unchanged since ancient times. It involves cooking corn in pots over a fire, steeping it for 8 to 16 hours, draining the cooking liquid, and washing the nixtamal, which is the end product of this process. This nixtamal is then ground into masa, or dried and ground corn flour, using hand-operated grinders or grinding stones called matates. The masa is either hand-molded or pressed to form thin discs, which are then baked on a hot griddle called a comal. Modern Advancements One of the biggest industrial advancements in tortilla and tortilla chip production has been the introduction of dry masa flour. This shelf-stable product has become popular because it meets certain standards, reduces the need for energy, labor, floor space, processing time, and equipment, and is convenient and easy to use. However, when compared to fresh masa flour, products made from dry masa flour tend to be less flavorful, and the cost per unit is higher. Manufacturers Smaller manufacturers that supply local restaurants with tortilla chips typically use dry masa flour, while larger manufacturers use fresh masa flour produced on-site. This difference in masa flour can impact the taste and texture of the final product. And there you have it, folks. That's the story of tortillas and tortilla chips, from their origins to how they're made today. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of these delicious snacks. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more interesting content, and let us know in the comments what your favorite tortilla chip topping is. Until next time, happy snacking!